So we need new names was born out of Zimbabwe's lost decade events that happened starting around 2000 when the country um, began unraveling due to failure of leadership. And I, I guess being away from, from home and having to process everything through the news, through phone calls home, through reading blogs and social media, for me it was a form of catharsis, it was a form of coping. You know, um, you do get crazy watching your homeland burning from a distance. Children are very are easy to deal with. That is from a, a writer's point of view because they have this innocence in terms of dealing with the world. So I wanted to capture that. Also bearing in mind that they are the most vulnerable uh, victims of any, any society really because of their age and where they fall on the social ladder. And that is why and how I came up with Darling and her group of friends, Bastard, Chibo, Stina, God knows and Spoke. It's a story about childhood, play, wanting, dreaming. But in as much as they are growing up in this difficult time, they also remind us of the beauty of children in the sense that they never forget to play, they never forget to have fun. They are dreamers, they have opinions about what's happening in other parts of the world. So, you know, it is at the same time a celebration of childhood. It's a hard childhood, but it's also a celebration. When I left home, I never thought about what it would mean to adjust. Um, just as Darling never thinks about what it would mean to move to the U.S. When she's in paradise, in this shanty town that she lives with, with her friends, she's always talking about how Aunt Fostalina will come and take her. But never for once does she pause to consider the costs. She only finds the costs when she, she's in, in Detroit, Michigan. But I, I really wanted readers to think about, you know, the kind of people you maybe meet every day and never know their stories, never wonder about them. So this is a book I think that brings to light some of the things that are relevant, that touch us today. I hope it leads to dialogue across difference. I hope it leads to, uh, to understanding.